So Tag is a movie that I guess is based on the true story of a bunch of friends who have been playing the same game of Tag for decades. It's like 30 years or something like that. They're all grown up. One of them is getting married. He's never been tagged. He's played by Jeremy Renner. So they all get together. They're like, this is going to be the year we tag him. He is going to be it. So that's the game. They all collaborate to tag this guy for the first time in his life, at least during the game of tag. It's not like they play this all year round. It's just for the month of May. My birthday month, which I understand, pretty good month. Magical things happen in May. More magical things probably happen nine months before May, but you know. This movie actually cracked me up. Just seeing friends get together to play this game that keeps them together. Together. I just love seeing that because I'm, I'm starting to get to that age where you realize like, oh my god, everyone grows up. Like 10 years ago, I would always be like, why do you need a game to keep each other together? I don't understand. Watching this movie in my current mind frame, my current age, my current mindset, I totally get it. Like all my friends, they're all married. It's easy for the continental drift of friendship to happen much more rapidly than a continental drift actually does happen. So I found the story very sweet and actually very smart. It's a very good, efficient way to keep everyone in touch. And I like anything that allows John Hamm to flex his comedic muscles. I know him as this serious dude, this serious actor. I know he has comedy in him because I've seen him do some funny stuff. We all have. I just like it when he has the opportunity. Ed Helms plays an Ed Helms' character. He's pretty much the optimist that, yeah, hey guys, we gotta do this. But he does it as Ed Helms does in Ed Helms' role. Jake Johnson plays the one who represents what happens to most people who reach that age. Hannibal Burris, is it Hannibal Burress or Hannibal Burris? I don't know, but you line them all up and there's such an array of personalities and career paths, life paths in general. You got the really successful guy, you got the burnout and you have everyone in between. You think to yourself, maybe it's not realistic that they're all friends. I feel like anyone who's been friends this long, they would have something in common. I just didn't feel like these guys had anything in common. Then you realize it's kind of the point of the movie, the game of tag keeps them linked. They do address this in the movie, but at a point you do get some pause and you're like, you guys aren't the groomsmen in his wedding, nor did you get invites. How close are you? If the game of tag is the only reason they're friends, that kind of saddens me. Jeremy Renner has the least amount of screen time because he is the point of the game for this movie. He's like the king in chess. He's not out there doing the most stuff on the battlefield, but he is the most important piece. He is the target. They need to get him. They get him, they win. When Renner was mentally breaking down the scenario and you hear the voiceover, slight smell of pot. He's coming from behind. I'm gonna throw my coffee in his face. Everything slows down. I thought that was cool. And for the most part, that's what this movie is. Scheming, planning, attempts at execution, and failure at that. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Have a good time. They do have a moment in here to really hammer home the drama, and I don't feel they did. Trying doesn't get, so they played it safe. I get that they did. In the end, Tag's a very enjoyable movie with a sweet premise to it. You and your friends, you're gonna grow up, you're gonna age, you're gonna get separate lives, so find something to have a link between you all. I think this is a very important message. I'm gonna sound like an old guy in three, two, one, especially in this day and age. I will say tag is a good time. No alcohol required. All right, so tag, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's your favorite movie about friendship? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.